Hey everybody, Donna Woods with Photonic Health, and in this episode of Health Made Simple is my guest again, Rob Ryan from Gussie's Gut. And hey Rob, glad to have you on. Oh, good to be back. Yes. Um, I uh, So Gussie's Gut, it's uh, fermented superfoods for your pets. And it's meant to be a topper, but it has, what, over 180 different nutrients. And because of the special fermentation process, it allows the um, nutrients to absorb so much faster and better and easier on the, the dog's stomach than, um, like, just them in, ingesting it normally. Right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Could have done it better myself. Perfect. Yay. I, I love that. And it's so important. Like nutrition is such an important aspect of general health. And it doesn't matter if we're talking about us or our dogs or our horses or our cats. Yeah. Like what goes in is what you're going to get out. And it's also not a one size fits all. And so that and and there's there's dogs that tolerate raw. There's dogs that don't. Um, there's dogs that tolerate plant-based and there's dogs that absolutely have to be on a carnivore diet. And so what I love about you guys is the fact that you go, Hey, whatever you're feeding, we've got you covered and it's going to be really, really super healthy for your dogs. So yeah, thank I you mean, for doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, I, I say the brilliance of our product is in its simplicity. It's not our brilliance. Dr. Billinghurst and I, we came together 25 years ago for the first time so he could teach me how to feed raw. And so ever since I've been feeding my dogs his way, uh, which it, as it turns out, it was a good decision. He's the guy who taught everyone, Karen Becker, um, you know, um, Everyone, Dr. Judy Morgan, Everyone. you name it. Yeah. And right. so I've been following that, what, what he calls a biological or species appropriate um, feeding plan, dietary plan. And so, you know, when I started doing this fermentation, I called him back up again 25 years later. And I said, you know, I think this pretty much resembles the gut contents of prey animals. It's fermented, but we're doing it like really, really optimized, like at a really optimized level. Obviously, we're not doing it in animal in an animal gut. We're doing it with salt and kefir. But um, what do you think? And I just remember seeing him on Zoom. He, he and his wife Roz were on with Zoom, and he just said, I just can't believe I haven't thought of this before. And he called it the greatest advancement in uh, pet food for the last 25 years when we started the business. So he came on board right nice. away. We started to create this together and figure out a way to make this. We make it all by hand. We make it, <clears throat> um, I mean, we use machines. I always tell people, Correct. like, you know, I'm not, nobody's a hero here. We're not at hand grinding, mm -hmm. but we, we make it all by hand, uh, just like you would in the kitchen, but with bigger yeah. machines. And and then we ferment for in two. the United States. Oh yeah, yeah, in the United States for in sure. In the yeah. United all, States. <laughs> in the United States, yeah. Yeah, all this is in the United States. All this is you know organic farms and working with farmers. Some farms are large, and it depends. Our farmers change all the time. It just depends on like who's got a good crop and it gets very complicated very quick, but Absolutely. Uh, we yeah. have deals with really, really small farmers where we buy their entire, you know, you fill in the blank vegetable or, sure. or product, tuber, herb. <clears throat> and so it's 19 superfoods. We identified 19 ingredients that we thought must be in there that your dog can eat every single day. And those nutrients combine perfectly to make this daily supplement and it's it's just a whole food based supplement that gets right. all these nut nutrients that are really hard to get and then when you ferment it you were right it makes it easier to digest all those nutrients so giving a comparison so 
Uh, and I want to talk about photon health, by the way. So like, I, yeah, but I want absolutely. to that you brought this up. Um, yeah. So you mentioned 180 ingredients and nutrients. Well, we actually have talked to enough scientists. They all say it's not 180. It's probably in the thousands. And you just have right. to do the expensive enough testing to uncover it. So we we think we've identified the right testing facility and we're getting ready to tell that story. So we're really excited about that. But the the big thing is that it's almost as if you pre-digested it. So you can also nice. think about like if 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 you eat the gut contents of a prey animal, if you're a dog, that is pre-digested and it is fermented. Sure. Both are true. So it breaks down cell walls. So if you were to think of microscopic pieces of just even say kale, okay, we use lacinato kale. If you think about that and then the digestive enzymes attack that little, little baby microscopic piece, they go and they chew away at it. We've already broken the cell wall. And so okay. those enzymes can access that little piece and obviously millions of pieces, literally, right. that... um. Right. That are in uh, that are in our product because they're just little baby microscopic pieces that get broken down, and so vets have told us, look, we believe the raw vegetable format is somewhere about a five percent absorption rate. So if you were to put raw vegetables and herbs and everything into a blender, your dog's getting like yeah. a really good five percent. Now I want to talk to you about the photon benefits of that. But five yes. percent uh, absorption of the nutrients, and you guys like what's right. in vegetables is insanity. People don't even think about it. It's you know phytochemicals, uh, polyphenols, um, just to, to name the big categories. Um, but then when you ferment, you get terpenes that come out and are absorbable. You get fat. people are like, terpenes. What's that? Good stuff. Says so with terpenes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. fatty fatty acids, enzymes. And then um, all the, I could go there, and it's well beyond vitamins and minerals because everybody always knows like, what are your vitamins and minerals? That's the least exciting story that we have to oh, tell. Correct. The, the way we look at gut health is two things. What is the goal? Diversity and terrain health. Without those, without a good terrain, the good microbes don't stay. They don't live. And without right. diversity, you have an imbalance. You need to have a diversity specific to where you live and your lifestyle. So the dog that lives here in Colorado has a very different, even if it was twin dogs, let's say, yeah. share the same DNA, you've or same yeah. everything. You've got genetics. You've got um, a dog in that same dog in Georgia compared to Colorado, very, very different microbiome. So anyway, that's my yeah. summary. Yeah, I love that. I I love that. That, you know, it it's you know, the keyboard people, right? Like that they, they get stuck on one thing and it's like, there's so many fact there's so many factors involved in nutrition and you cannot summarize it even in one hour, let alone two sentences on the internet. And, um, and, you know, and then you get into breed different breeds and like, I mean, we've had anywhere from golden retrievers to terriers, and now we're on to you know French bulldogs, and they all have they all have different microbiome, and they all have different needs, and it's not a you know you can't paint your nutri dog nutrition, especially with one brush or yeah. even five brushes. It's yeah. so I love the fact that you guys have this thing where you go, okay, whatever you're doing, you can just add this on, and it's going to make every not everything better, but it's going to improve whatever you're currently doing. Yeah. So, yeah. And you're, yeah. what you're referring to in the dog breed thing is pretty simple. Um, you know, I have Labradors. So the way yeah. that they came about, and yes, we know that America has bred all these dogs. And so the, they, there's always a right. delineation between American labs and English labs. Okay. Well, mine happens to be an English lab born in America, but um, where do they come from? Yeah. They come from colder climates uh, uh, over mm -hmm. in the UK. And they are, you know, you can make a case for the meat that they fed right. most of their dogs over there. For I mean, we're talking for hundreds of years. Like it puts to shame right. the kibble industry. Right. Forget kibble. You know, right. over hundreds of years, these dogs' digestive systems have been adapted 
to eat this food. And then you have this, so you have this genetic component, but then you have this epigenetic, like Correct. historical grandma yeah. or mom, dad, grandma, grandparents, great grandparents, all that. So if they ate fish a lot, if you have a husky, you know, Malamute, or if you have a Labrador, if you have, you know, um, a Chihuahua, you got to be thinking of just a little bit, just be think, be cognizant yeah. of it. Cause it's, it's, I think it's really cool, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Ab- absolutely. So I love that. So we, you want to talk today about photons in plants. And I'm assuming it's because you guys use plants in your products. And, and I'm so on your show. That's, right. And you're yeah. on the show. Yeah. And we, we're all about photon energy. Yeah. Um, because it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing and can be life changing and can also save lives. So yeah. uh, let's dig into that a little bit further. Well, I, you know, first of all, I want to thank you because a, lo- a couple of our customers have come and purchased from you and been very, very happy with their products. And um, I think this is a really cool marriage. The, the, the Gussie's got company in yours, Photonic Health. Because I really do see it. And I told you this from the beginning. It's you're doing the same darn thing we're doing with a different at a different mechanistic level. It's just a different tool. And so that's what I would love to get into. This idea of photonic health is really it's like light energy. How so I think of it really simply. How do I get light into me? How do I get light into my dog? And so today, you know, I can't really say in Colorado in the winter, I want to do this, although I do because it's cold therapy, but I walk with my shirt off outside with my dog for about 30, 40 minutes. I do this twice a day. Why do I do it? For sun energy, for vitamin D. Vitamin D is, is super beneficial, but it's the beginning of the reason why I do it. It's like, it's kind of the reason, like, I'm going to get my vitamin D. But what I can't think about, and frankly, we don't know, is all this other crazy stuff that comes from the sun. Right. And the full spectrum of light. And I, I, I'm, I, I'm very interested in this subject, as you could tell. My doctor, 20, I've known him uh, 23 years now. Um, and I'm, I've been a biohacker my whole life. I'm 52. Like, I've been interested in this subject since the age of 16 anti-aging, you know, I'm, I'm obsessed. I I was obsessed with anti-aging, but now I don't care as much about how long I live. It's how well I live. And so I, 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 I started out in the pet world, like just being obsessed with, gosh, (laughs) how do I get my dogs to live like one or two more years? Like, you know, at the short lives of these dogs is just horrifying and almost unbearable. And so how can I, how can I get them one or two more years? I mean, that's, that was my main mission still is actually. Um, Right. But Uh, my mission is to get them to live as long as I do. (laughs) Like I want them to live forever for as long as I do. (laughs) I mean, I'm just going to, just going to be honest with you. Like what, what can I do? You know? And I know a lot of, um, there's, I'm going to say there's two kinds of people in the world. There's dog people and then there's the other kind, right? Yeah. And the other kind don't get it. Like they don't get it. But when you put, I put it in the context of, you know, your child, your children that you love and you love them so much that you're allowing them to live in your house until they're 40 years old. And yeah. you allow that because you love them so much and you love being with them and spending time with them and doing things for them and caring. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Dog people are the same way. Like we love our dogs. We love spending time with them. We, you know, so it's it's mm. just a four leg versus two legs. <laughs> Yeah. And we yeah. and we don't have that luxury. We don't have that luxury on a good day, right? Or on a really healthy day, you know. Yeah. Um we're blessed if we can have our dogs live to be 15, 16, maybe in 20, right? Yeah. But yeah. on average, the average dog lives to be 12 years old. Yeah. Right? If they're, on average, if they're lucky. Yeah. If yeah. they're if they're lucky. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I put it at like 
hey, you get to have however long you get to have with your child. I get to have maybe 12 years with my dog. So I'm going to love on her and kiss on her and hug on her and do all those things. Yeah. Well, I think people, you know, I, I really do. It, it, some some people have heard this before, so it may sound cliche to them, but I do think that dogs teach us how to live and they teach us about um, the shortness yeah. of life. Because think about it this way. If I'll, 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 I'll put a little, you know, whipped cream and cherry on top of what you said. If your kids died at 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, even 20, okay? Yeah. Could you imagine how health conscious we all would be? Could you imagine how, you know, and I know that's a crazy argument because then you'd say like, well, how can you have? Yeah. Brain? Okay. But you get right. what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, absolutely. You know, if, if there was a finite, short, real short in relationship to your life, you would do everything in your power to like, how can I squeak out one more year, six more months? You know? So that's where yeah. I'm at. I don't have kids. So, um, yeah. I, I yeah. you know, I, I luckily have a niece that's nine years old. So I get that part of my life met that way. But, you know, I always have been so busy and so, so totally satisfied with my dogs being my life that, um, I don't, I don't want or need for anything else. So, but anyway, so I think the, the getting one more year is profound. If you think about it being one 16th of their whole life or one 18th or whatever, Right. So, you know, what can we do to to strengthen that? So back to back to me. So, you know, 23 ish years ago, I became super obsessed about this topic. It was at the time I got my first dog, P.S., by the way. And yeah. Um, and so when I got into this great, amazing doctor who cured, I had a sleep disorder for 14 years and this guy cured it. And he's been my number one doctor ever since he was big on photon health. I'm like photon health, never even heard of it. And he created a green right. drink that he wanted me yeah. to drink. And yeah. so that was my beginning intro into that. But there's a lot of other, there's a lot of ways that's called bio photons from food and they're Correct. biological and there's photonic energy in food because the sun creates photosynthesis and all the magic happens. And that's what cause, causes Correct. life you know, the growth. That's why people like sprouts and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. So I guess the, should we just go through like there's six photonic energy forces? Okay, great. So I talked about one, getting it from the sun, you know, and there's articles if you want to go read about it. Like one of the reasons they, they think we have a, a increase in macular degeneration, both people and our pets is two things. Uh, but I'm boiling it. I'm I'm being overly simplistic, but you can dig into the literature yeah. if you're a nerd. Is the increase and in rise in seed oils and um and vegetable oils in both human and pet diets? It's it's all over right. pet diets, oh, and no. it shouldn't be. The second is, are you still with me? I saw that one of the screens. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> the second one is in um not getting enough full spectrum lighting. So people are wearing sunglasses. It's filtering out a very limited amount of uh, the spectrum and it's actually causing more harm than good. Your, your light, your eyes should be getting the full spectrum of the sun surprise. And I just know, like I have four friends that constantly are telling me to put on my sunglasses and unless it's a snowy day or I'm near water where it reflects or it's just in my line where it's really bright and I have to squint. I don't wear sunglasses. I want that sun fully right. in my, you know, back to my pineal gland and my brain and all that fun. Absolutely. Stuff. Correct. Yeah. The, the eye, the eyes are, and, and, you know, that's one of the things when we started getting into different spectrums of light color in our therapy or our therapy products, green specifically, you know, like, the color green is so amazing, but the only way, I'm not going to say the only way the body gets it, but the primary way that the body can absorb it is through the eyes because green and our eyes are light absorbing. And so you're, you're exactly right. And there's a lot of um, nutritionists out there and holistic health people that are like, you got health problems? 
get up with the break of dawn, not because you need to get up early, but you need to go outside or you need to be standing at the window and getting that light so that the body can readjust its circadian rhythm. And it's all generated, like the circadian rhythm is balanced by light. <laughs> yeah. Like there's, yeah. 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 And you know, the, the, you, you, you said window, that's fine. You, but ideally you get, you've got nothing between you and the light because all right. windows, every single window we have has some sort of refraction and filter of some sort. Even if you say, well, my, I have no sun, sun, what is that called? The sun, um, the tinting, I have no tinting on my tinting. windows. It doesn't matter. Right. All windows do it. So you ideally want pure, just be, you know, light and you outside. And, yeah. And you're not looking yeah. at the sun, obviously, <laughs> but right. you're, you're getting, it, it's all just pure light and nothing in between you. Yeah. It does like, seriously, your car, your reading glasses, your, um, your, certainly your sunglasses, even, um, uh, uh, what is that called? The uh, contact lenses. Yeah. Ideally, I'm just saying like, it, you don't have to be a purist, but the better you can get closest to pure, the more often you can, the better off you'll be. I, I didn't like, right. I literally didn't even know like my window that has no tinting on it. That's an impediment between me and the full spectrum. So, um, I've been educated. Right. So, uh, so anyway, so sunlight. Okay. So that's, yeah. Yep. I think we, we got that one nailed now, phototherapy, light therapy, and then, uh, so next, I guess, would be LEDs, right? So LED light therapy. And that's, um, I think that's more like your where you guys play, like the low Correct. level lasers. And yeah. Yep. And, yep. Yeah. And and your audience clearly knows about that. Um, you, what, why don't you tell us, like, you're, I've got you. Why, why, why have me explain it? Like, what's, give us the benefits <laughs> of Photon there. Well, well, I mean, and I'll just give you our our general very you know brief explanation even though it's something that we could talk days and days about because yeah. it you know we started in we started using led light therapy back in 2004 on animals 2004 which is crazy to think about and we went into business in 2009 and and, you know, our primary market has been horses and dogs and cats. And so we have seen and, you know, because we were so early on in the market it, um, and we had just used it so often that we, you know, you know, we were we were using lights on dogs and cats with IVDD and, you know, having them overcome them in a matter of, you know, maybe a week or a couple months versus having to have the animal put down. And, um, you know, we were seeing our patient, I don't want to say our patients, but our clients that bought our devices were seeing dogs that had tumors and had cancer and stuff like all of a sudden, like, it's shrinking, it's like getting better. And, and so when you break it down to a very simplistic perspective and understand that red in a very specific wavelength at a very specific power range as well is stimulating the mitochondrial activity within the cell. And the mitochondria is everything, right? So like once we, once we get that mitochondria stimulated and it starts functioning normally, then the body has to respond accordingly. It has to start the detoxification process. It has to start removing um, foreign objects out of the cells because it doesn't have any other choice. And it also energizes the cell. And so, um, you know, which, so that's which, a which super... have low vibration, uh, you know, especially cancer, the very, very low vibration. Yeah. Low vibration, crap. And so, you know, we, you know, we work trade shows, we go out and we do, you know, discussions and we, you know, do presentations on it. And, you know, people are like, well, does it work on this or does it work on this? And does it work? And I, the answer is yes. Yeah. And they, you know, they look at me, they're like, well, how can that be? You know, you can tell that they become skeptical pretty quickly. And it's like, when you understand what a photon does to a cell, 
then it's like it if 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 the cell is getting that photonic energy, it has no choice but to respond. So it doesn't matter if it's IVDD or if it's hip dysplasia or if it's a tendon or ligament injury or if it's cancer. It has to respond. Yeah. It has to respond. Well, the, 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 I, I resonate with the vibration mm -hmm. that you mentioned. I, I definitely resonate with my, my vet. He does pyro and acupuncture and he uses yeah. uh, an LED pen light it looks like a laser pointer yeah. um yeah. as i think he call, i think he calls it light acupuncture or something because i said right. to him photopuncture said, something like that but yeah something like that photopuncture and i said to him like what like what are, what is it you're doing i mean i thought it was a laser and he said no it's like right. acupuncture with a light and this guy by the way yeah. is like the most pragmatic lowest woo woo most like traditional holistic vet like just very only does yeah. what works and so right as i was thinking about being on today with you i actually recalled i was thinking about lights and you know what do i use in my world and i've certainly used lasers i've used leds i all that fun stuff and i thought of him yeah. and um so that's a huge i mean he's been doing practicing medicine for 45 years maybe 50 yeah. now yeah um yeah so anyway it's it's yeah. really um, yeah it's really really yeah. interesting the other thing that occurs to me like you said you know it sounds really um cocky of me to say i don't remember what word you said you know right. uh, your product yeah but I, I i didn't take it that way the way i took it okay. i think that you have a very similar product to me which is i mean we have a food based and yours is a device based right uh, right but you did not invent this stuff, and I did not invent fermentation right. and certainly didn't inv in invent vegetables. What we do is your husband is a genius at this specific area of these lights, and so he yes. said, "I'm going to take this existing tech. I'm not going to invent the technology. I'm not inventing the lights. I'm going to just make sure it's this power and it's this. Um, what's the word? The right. frequency." The lights and the yeah frequency. the like yeah the yeah the whole all the technical stuff of it all the technical and, you know, so I'll all dial the these stuff. Yeah, yeah I'll dial these specs yeah. to these specifications boom that's what we do yeah we just say we're yeah. gonna dial these we're gonna select the ingredients we're gonna ferment them this special way that's unique to us that we and then we're gonna make sure we freeze dry it just the way we want it and then we uh, package it in a very specific way yeah. and there you go and it's just a high level yeah like everybody. Correct. Everybody theoretically can go out and make their own uh, lasers. I wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> and and everybody <laughs> correct can, right. And everybody can make their own fermentation. Wait, wait. Um, yeah, yes. for sure. But, yes, you know, we, so, we, we've we've actually had people that are like, we're going to go make our own laser, right? And oh, yeah. so we're like, okay, great, that's awesome. I love that. No. So they'll go out and they'll they'll attempt, and then like three months later, we'll get an email from them. Okay, we we tried this, and so um, yeah, yeah, we'll just buy one of your devices because it's not it's you know it's just like fermentation, right? It's not as straightforward as oh, we're just going to go ferment something, right? There's a process involved, and yeah. I think. I think with uh, with Gussie's gut, and I think, you know, and I know with our company specifically, we're all about the animal first, and we're all about the results first. Yeah. So you can do what you want, whatever. We stand behind our product. We are very diligent people. We're animal owners ourselves, and yeah. you know, with having a half a dozen horses, three dogs, and a cat, or two or three. Editing, you know, depends on the day. When one of my animals is sick, I need I need a device that works now. Yeah. Not, you know, we'll try it out and see how it works and blah blah blah. Or, or so God forbid, I, God forbid, could hurt. You know, I mean, the the thing I immediately correct is correct. Oh my gosh, you're going to do a light device yourself? Like, yeah. what might that do that I can't see? Right. That would be my. I would be haunted correct. by that idea. 
Correct. Co- correct. Yeah. And whatnot. So, yeah. So, mm. um, yeah. Yeah. So. Wow. wow. I know. So I, I think basically between all those we covered, you know, there's sunlight, phototherapy, like the on your desk when you don't get enough yes. sun. There's laser yes. therapies. That could be your low level, whole lasers. Yeah. I've done those. Wonderful. Yeah. Those lasers are the same thing as that's in your business. Your business is different because they're yep. technically both lights, but they're very right. different. You know, beasts. Very different. Absolutely. And, and I can't tell you how many people buy these really cheap cold lasers that are, you know, not right. really working for them. And, you know, it's yeah. like, folks, like time is such, uh, time is such, you know, it's, it's money in the world. Yeah, it's, it's money precious. in the human world, but it's health and yeah. outcome and yeah. speed of recovery. And if you lose right. ground on an unwell dog, you lose time, right. you lose ground. Right. You that it doesn't matter how much money right. you 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 usually once you get behind, you know, once you're in stage four of something, you're really yeah. you're in big trouble. Right. So yeah. um it, it, so anyway, so that's the laser therapy and then um, the LEDs, you, you know, infrared saunas yeah. we talked about, and then back to the, yeah. back, back to the photon bio photons from food. That's the game we love to play. And so I, right. I always think about bio photons. It's like never spoken about on our website. We don't feel like that's a conversation we, we need to get into what we do right. is super focused on microbiome health but oh, by the way, you get this crazy other side, Benny, and Absolutely. it's it's free, and you know you, you get that right. as, with your purchase, no extra charge, and it's I right. think it's really important. So we we can consume, we can absorb, we can have applied to us all kinds of photon energy. I think that's su- super super cool. Yeah, I do too. I do too, and it's. And again, it goes back to, you know, when you understand what exactly it's doing, it's so powerful. It's so powerful. And I love the fact that your product, even though that's not your primary focus, but you guys have developed it in such a way that you're maximizing the benefits of it. Like you're not, not just the nutrients, but the photonic energy that's involved in that process and the fermentation process that you guys specifically use to absorb those nutrients because, you know, a lot of our dogs, and especially if we're feeding kibble or not the healthiest diet, you know, um, and you're going to know that. I'm going to sidetrack for just a second. Like if your dog has gas, you know, Frenchie people think it's hilarious that their Frenchies have so much gas. To me, it's absolutely horrifying. Because what that tells me is there is inflammation in that body and the body is not processing and it's not digesting the food that you provided it. And yeah. on a long-term basis, and so then you go down the and the brachycephalic breeds, right? So my dog has gas. Now we've got skin issues. We've got allergies, which lead to breathing problems. Well, if you fix the gut problems and it doesn't have gas and you get rid of the inflammation, guess what? The inflammation in the breathing goes away and you don't have to have, hopefully, not surgeries on these dogs. Like, so, you you know, it's, and, and I know that it's a, I know that it's a complex puzzle, like the feeding aspect of a dog, because there's so much misinformation, I don't want to say misinformation out there, but I know that everybody out there is doing their absolute best with the information that they have. And it's just that you and I have been around the block enough to have more information and more tools in our toolbox than maybe some other people have. And so when it goes back to get the gut right, you know, get, get that inflammation out of the body, get those nutrients processing properly, your dog is going to be so much healthier and your vet bills are going to go down and you're going to, you're hopefully your dog's going to live longer. And so it, it, you know, it's one of those things that I encourage people, especially dog people hang in there. Like 
be in tune with your dog. And if it has gas, if it has these problems, it's telling you that there is something, that something's going on. It's either died, it's either you're either feeding it the wrong food. And when I say wrong food, it's not like you're doing it on purpose. It's, it's wrong for that dog. <laughs> it's just wrong for that dog. Um, and, or it's not able to digest it all the way. And that's what I love about your guys' product is it, it makes it so much easier to digest. And it takes some of that guesswork out of that whole equation. Yeah, well, thank you. I, yeah, that's what yeah. we want to do. We want to get easy, you know, um, you know, we, we realize that the reason the kibble industry has been so successful is not because it's a superior product. It's because right. it's really darn easy to do and they've sold that right. perfectly. And so right. we, we really wanted to make sure that we did something that was produce it and 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 also um dried through freeze drying at a, such a, a high level that we wanted to make sure that people um it, it was so easy for people to do they couldn't it would be hard for them to say no um unless they already ferment for themselves and they wanted to do it for their pet which in that case we'd love right. it go go ferment at home make sure you get fermentation into your dogs whether you do it yourself or you buy you know our product um right and so you know for us it's um, it's literally part of like our mission statement in our company is we make it easier for people to raise animals that live longer, healthier lives. That's all we're here to I do. I love that. We're here to make it I easier for people. Yeah. And, yes. um, I love that. Know, yeah. And so I, I, um, you know, I'm just glad that people can see in this show or here in this show that there's an, there's another dimension to health, which is we're all light beings, including yep. animals. And, you know, right. literally these plants, the little blades of grass, the flowers you walk past, the weeds that you don't like yes. in your yard, they all have these amazing light cells that are yes. in them, in them. And if you consume them, if yeah. they're healthy, if you consume them, you're getting the emissions. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, it's really crazy. Yeah. And they know this. Like, yeah. science knows it. Right. Emissions of light that's stored in these little cells. So um, give yeah. your pets, folks, also give your pets vegetables if you are feeding a yeah. kibble. Because that's I know that's really what you're bringing up a lot here. And, you know, right. Donna, for, for people who are doing that, please sure. give some fresh blended Put them in a blender, make them baby food consistency so that they can right. break them down easier. Give them fresh, yep. good photonic energy and, right. um, you know, and then ferment. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Thank you, Rob Ryan from Gussie's Gut for being on today. I am, it's always such a pleasure to have you on and we always have such fun discussions. Um, yes. And so if you are interested in Gussie's Gut, um, their products, they are absolutely amazing. And um, we've got the link attached. So feel free to use that link and reach out to them if you have questions, because Rob is obviously a wealth of knowledge, especially when it comes to dog nutrition and fermentation and things like that. And, um, and Rob, thank you for being on the show again. Thank you so much. Thank you, Donna. And we're we're talking to another company about producing with them a horse supplement. So I can't wait to get Fun. that over to you when that happens. Fun. Yay. I can't wait to see it. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody.